I'm so happy to be here. Are you guys feeling good? Kind of? Okay, I'm so pumped. I'm having so much fun. Except, I mean, it's a little warm for me, I'll be honest. I, it's a little too hot. Because, like, when it's warm out and my thighs touch, they bleed. So, um... <laughs> just a personal problem. I don't know, maybe I should get skinny. I mean, I'm gonna have to get skinny just cause like my personality is not getting better. Um, <laughs> and I'd like to have sex with hotter men. Uh, so I'm on it. I guess my dream body would be like Britney Spears at her worst. So close <laughs> enough, one day I'll get there. I don't know. I just hate when tr people try to give you advice on how to get in shape and better your life. Like, you don't know. We know. It's just, like, self-destructive behavior. Like, I didn't even like bacon until I found out it gave you cancer. And then I was like, I'll try it. Um, <laughs> it's just weird. We all have our weird things. Like, my friend Kenny was like, why don't you try eating yogurt with fruit in the morning? And I was like, how about I murder your family? Um, <laughs> does that sound good? Did you think I didn't know what yogurt was? That, that's what you thought the problem was? I just never saw yogurt. Like, I would go to the store, and between cheese and milk, I saw nothing. <laughs> just a void? No, I know about yogurt, Kenny. Ugh, I'm so annoyed. I'm, like, re-annoyed right now. No, it, it just, it's hard, whatever. My life's good. I don't even know why I'm complaining. My life is pretty magic. All I do all day long is craft and masturbate. It's amazing. It's <laughs> such a good life. And it's a lot of glitter in your bush, but it's worth it, you know? <laughs> You look at all the collages and you're like, that's all right. Uh, I've also been traveling a lot. It's been really fun. It's been fun here. I was also just in London recently and that was the best. I love the accents. I just, I just love an accent where you could tell there's gonna be foreskin. You know, it's nice. <laughs> it's like a voice with a clue. You know, I've always wanted to solve crime. Uh, <laughs> So I was in London and I knew I was gonna hook up, like it was obvious, so I got on Tinder and I started sliding around and I found a guy, we connected, like text, chats, everything was good. So within a half an hour, I was in an Uber to his house and then it hits you that you can die. And so <laughs> then you have to play a fun game, like how much is your life worth, you know? Like you don't wanna die in a stranger's apartment, but he's a light-skinned black dude with light eyes and once you see a unicorn, you gotta try to have sex with it. Um, <laughs> What am I gonna do, wait for it to meet him in heaven? I don't think so. Um, and I'm also not embarrassed. I feel like we all do desperate, weird things to get laid, right? Everybody. Like, no one likes to hear an acoustic guitar, but you listen, you know what I mean? <laughs> you give a compliment. Um, so yeah, so I was in this Uber, so basically to stay safe, but also have sex with this hot guy, what I did was I took a bunch of screenshots of his face, and I sent that to all my friends, and then I texted all my friends his address, and then when I got to his house, he offered me a drink, I made him drink from it first, and then like the whole time we were hooking up, I was just making sure to get DNA under my fingernails, you know? <laughs> Casually, he didn't even notice. He was like, damn, you're kinky. I'm like, oh no, if you murder me, there will be justice. <laughs> All your DNA, okay? Uh, I was just walking around the apartment dropping hair everywhere for evidence. Just like, oh my God, this place is amazing. <laughs> so big, so big. I love it. Oh, is this your toaster? Fingerprints. Um, <laughs> licked a glass, everything, but it was worth it. I had so much fun. Thanks, you guys. Enjoy your night.